Jesus checking at the Facebook photo has enough likes to save the sick child. Can't wait to hear the atheists try and explain this one with their science. Pastor in Zimbabwe claims he has God's direct phone number. Shoot, I... I can't explain that at all! Can't, okay, I want to ask this guy. Does God use T-Mobile too? Does he have the same goddamn problem with them? I, I feel like he would. As a cashier, I receive many church pamphlets. This one made me audibly wheeze. Satan also uses education. What? <laughs> what are they trying to say with that one? My dog was declared cancer-free today, so I'm reverse searing him a steak. The Bible says you don't feed animal back to animal, it will make him sick. Dogs like carrots. Dogs like cereal products? Did you actually tell this man to feed his dog cereal? Sorry, bud, no steak for you. I've got some Cap'n Crunch, though. My beliefs forbid me to eat ice cream in the park on Mondays. Then don't do it. You do not understand. As I believe that, you are also forbidden to do so. This is how the religious treat others. Well, not all of them. Not, we can't say all of them, okay? Practicing my prison photos for when preaching the true gospel of Jesus becomes illegal. <laughs> you want to be persecuted so bad, it's really weird. It, this ain't it, hun. Woman sees image of Jesus on cheese toast. I kind of do too. Is she going to try and sell it? A lot of people do that. Praise the Lord, it's Jeebus. He's on my sandwich. How much money can I get for it? Imagine thinking vegetarianism equals demonic possession. Wait, they are doorways to demonic possession. We've got Burning Man. Nah, that one's fine. Skull and Bones, Fornication, Lord of the Rings? Oh man, I am really deep into demonic possession then, I guess. Uh, Church of Satan, that doesn't really make any sense. I'm glad they put Scientology on here, though. Uh, what else? Gosh, this is ridiculous. Okay, uh, cyberpunk culture and vegetarianism. And vampirism, though. The cost of my faith. How a decision in my cake shop took me to the Supreme Court. <laughs> oh man, you really had to milk it for all it was worth, huh? How many pages is this book, and did you actually write it, or did you find yourself a ghostwriter? Atheists, if God isn't real, how do you explain walking on water? Can you walk on water like Jesus? Yes. Show me a video of you walking on water. I don't need to. You just need to have faith that I did. Today at the grocery store, a nice young man offered to help me with my cases of water. I told him he must be a good Christian guy, and he told me he was atheist. I immediately felt a cold demonic being in the parking lot. I've been praying and rebuking the devil since then, but he still got me in fear that that demon jumped on me. I need all prayer warriors to join me in rebuking this devil back to hell. I know God says to fear not, but I'm afraid. So you're not listening to God? That seems kind of, uh, weird to me. Saw this on my Quora this morning? Not sure what that website is. My aggressively Buddhist neighbor set out a Buddha statue in his front yard, and my kids see it every day. If I put a cross necklace around the statue's neck without damaging it, can I be held liable? Uh, liable for what? For, for putting a cross around somebody else's religious... Is it effigy? No, that wouldn't be the right word. I don't know. All I know is, don't touch people's stuff. You can fly whatever flags and put whatever cross bull in your lawn all you want, all day long. I love that you say they're aggressively Buddhist. You sure? Also, I really, really doubt that this guy put a freaking Buddha statue in his front yard. <laughs> I really doubt it. God created only two genders! Wrong. God created one and a rib. But I wouldn't expect a rib to know that. And maybe I should read the Bible, it seems like it's really fun. As you can see, heart has four chambers. One for each wife. I have four too. I can have four husband. Oh, oh no, 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 you see, it, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I hate cancel culture. Imagine God canceling you because you did or said the wrong thing. Um, the very first Bible story is God canceling two people over an apple. Dude, you can do the weirdest little thing and God will cancel you so hard you drown in the lake of fire for all eternity. What do you mean? He's all about that. If you're a Christian and you're big mad about the possibility of student loan debt being canceled, let me remind you that the entirety of your faith is built upon a debt you couldn't pay that someone stepped in and paid for you. How thoughtful of God to arrange matters so that wherever you happen to be born, the local religion always turns out to be the true one. <laughs> was a good plan, I must admit. Is your freedom more important than my safety? I don't know you. My lunch is more important to me than you are. Yes, 
uh, Kevin, we understand that you are better than everybody else. You're the main character of your life. We're all the main characters of our lives. I guess the difference between people like myself and people like you is I don't have a failed acting career and, and I do actually give a about other people. Or at least I do my best to, unlike you. What in the hell? What is this? Why? How would this not be considered some form of blasphemy? Like, what is going on here? Are you serious? Christians be mad as hell about the devil, like they didn't make that dude up. You raise a good point. Church annoyed after $20 donation turned out to be lecture on evolution. <laughs> The first church of the Trinity Blessed was appalled because an atheist has infiltrated the sanctity of the church and left a fake donation after the services. Well, I, I don't think it should have been a uh, an evolution lecture, you know what I mean? I feel like it should have just been like those uh, stupid fake $20 bill Christian donations where they leave them as tips at restaurants and stuff. You should just hold on to those and give them back. I think that's a smarter idea. Worst example of cultural appropriation ever. LGBTs stole the rainbow from God. It's his. He invented it. Give it back. One of my favorite things about Pride Month is celebrating the many achievements of the LGBTQ community. Like when we collectively stole the rainbow from God. Look, if I have the ability to steal anything from God, I feel like I am owed that. From a creationist science textbook called Science for Christian Schools. Okay, let's see here. Electricity is a mystery. No one's ever observed it or heard it or felt it. That is so freaking untrue. We can see and hear and feel only what electricity does. We know that it makes light bulbs shine and irons heat up and telephones ring, but we cannot say what electricity itself is like. Oh my God. We cannot even say where electricity comes from. Some scientists think that the sun may be the source of most electricity. Others think that the movement of the Earth produces some of it. All anyone knows is that electricity seems to be everywhere and that there are many ways to bring it forth. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the city of Ember. All the people in the city of Ember have no clue what electricity actually is. They just know that their mighty generator produces it and keeps the lights on. <laughs> what the hell? I am God's messenger. What is God's message? Give God's messenger money. And on the eighth day, God created evangelism. Look at your bodies, women. Breasts, ovaries, and a womb. God created you for the magnificent job of creating and nourishing new life. What can be more important than this? Using my brain to get a PhD and then educate loads of women about how, well, they're more than just hosts for babies and servants for men. Original. Uh, what? Really? There's no way, right? Iranian music streaming site removes all female singers from their album covers and it looks really wrong. Yeah, dude, you're telling me it looks really wrong. Jeez. The Earth is 4,000 years old. Change my mind. Well, the half-life of uranium-238 is 4.5 billion years. It decays into radium-226, which in turn decays into radon-222. Radon-222 becomes polonium-210, which finally decays into a stable nuclide lead. The existence of lead as an element disproves the 4,000-year-old myth. You gave him a real answer. He's just going to ignore it and go, none of that's true or real. He's just going to plug his ears and go, la 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 la. That's all he's going to do. Every time. NASA's New Horizons reaches deep space milestone at the edge of our solar system. <laughs> no need to explore outer space looking for space critters. They aren't in the Bible, so we know they don't exist. Time to focus here on Earth and spread the good news. No giraffes in the Bible either. Pretty sure they're there. Yeah. I love people that advocate for staying here on Earth and fixing things. That's a good idea. Can we actually do it, though? What do you do when you go to a restaurant and your waiter's an atheist? How do you know that? Normally, I'll pay without leaving a tip and write a bad review on Google. This past weekend, I decided to be more proactive. I ordered the chicken livers, and when the atheist brought it to the table, I insisted that I had ordered steak. I made that loser take it back to the kitchen and make me a steak. Then I complained to the manager about the atheist and skipped out on the bill. Establishments need to be taught it's not okay to hire atheists. Wow. In your search to be persecuted, you are literally doing your best to do just that to a random person trying to live their life as best they can. <laughs> oh man, I hope that all your food is cold forevermore. If Christians read the Bible to get closer to God, what do atheists read to further their intensity of their non-belief? The same, actually. <laughs> okay. Good thing I can swim and am not an orange. When we take off the armor of God, we sink. When we wear the armor of God, we stay afloat. 
Okay. You know what we need to do? We need to get the f*** out of here. That's what we need to do. Honestly, I would have thought the same thing as them, man. This place is messed up. Okay? Unconditional as long as you do exactly what I want. God's love is unconditional as long as you are obeying Christ. You know, you keep using that word, and I don't think you know what it means. It's true. Unconditional as long as you do all of the crap I tell you to do, or I will torture you for all of eternity. You need to be scared. I am scaring you so you do what I say. Don't forget the original Karen. Refuses to issue same-sex marriage licenses because they violate the sanctity of marriage. Divorced three husbands, married a fourth. Oh yeah, I forgot about her! I don't remember her name because she doesn't deserve for anybody to remember her name, but it's super cute she got her 15 seconds of fame by breaking the law? I mean... <laughs> Imagine saying both those things one after the other. It's the girl's choice to wear a... Is it a hijab? Or hijab? They have been wearing them since they were two to three years old. Huh? This story is just bonkers. A juror openly said he refused to evaluate the evidence in a case because God told him the suspect wasn't guilty. <laughs> that juror was kicked out. The suspect was found guilty. Christians are complaining about what happened to the juror. I wonder why. Iran Wire exclusive. Athlete who completed without hijab will be jailed. Really f***ing cool. So neat. Wow. This stuff isn't oppressive and horrible to people at all. No siree. It's all about love and uh, being good to each other. Yeah. Sure. I still really hope I'm saying that right. Let me look up the pronunciation just to make sure. Hijab. Okay, if Google's to be believed, I am saying it right. Anyway, let's move on. The leather object was her own personal Bible. Wait, what? Paying attention? Satanist don't touch the Holy Bible. That's why she put her clutch bag on top of the Bible. These people are sick, right in our faces. What the hell is this? The bottom book is the Bible, but what does she have her hand on there? <laughs> These people have never owned a Bible of their own at all. Look, if you really like it, you usually get one that, like, zips up to protect it, and you got your name on it. That's exactly what she's got right there. Mom found this in your backpack. You know we don't allow filth in this house. God bless you, Dad. Haley, go get pregnant and have an abortion right now! This person has a Patreon? I really hope this is some weird, stupid, ironic thing, because that's just, that's just great. If it's not, wow, dude. Atheists get paid by secret authorities to discredit religions. It's disgusting. This is a shame. Shame on yourselves. Most atheists are rich. Oh, if only that were even a little bit true. Ask Amy Dickinson. Dear Amy, I recently discovered that my son, who is 17, is a homosexual. We're part of a church group, and I fear that if people in the group find out, they will make fun of me for having a gay child. He won't listen to reason, and he will not stop being gay. I feel as if he's just doing this to get back at me for forgetting his birthday for the past three years. I have a busy work schedule. <laughs> Please help him make the right choice in life by not being gay. He won't listen to me, so maybe he will listen to you, feeling betrayed. Okay. Dear Betrayed, you could teach your son an important lesson by changing your own sexuality to show him how easy it is. Try it for the next year or so. Stop being a heterosexual to demonstrate to your son that a person's sexuality is a matter of choice, to be directed by one's parents, the parents' church, and social pressure. <laughs> oh, she did not do that. Absolutely not. No way in hell. She probably thought about it for half a second and then went, oh, no, I'm right. I am correct. Also, I love that the real reason she doesn't want her son to be gay is because her church group might make fun of her. <laughs> Worst church service ever attended. Go. That time at camp they announced to us our youth pastor had died in a car wreck on the way to camp, and then while we were all crying, he started speaking from the rafters. He was hiding in about... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, that sure is something. Disgusting, really. All you do is read the first four chapters of the Bible and you find out evolution's a lie. Don't think that's what that says. There are only two genders. I thought we established one was a rib. Marriage is between man and woman. Feminism is a lie. All religious roads don't lead to God. Enough to make any liberal pee their pants. You're right. I just, I just pee my pants. My, my chair is now soaked. Damn. Okay. When I get to heaven, I hope God allows me to peer down into the depths of hell and watch all the atheists burn. And this basically sums up Christianity. Yeah, yeah it does. So many people just want to watch others be destroyed and tortured and f***ed with because they feel they're better than them. 
Okay, no, no, not all of them. I'm not saying all of them. I'm saying the crappy ones. And you cannot say that there are no crappy ones, because they're everywhere, like right here. Funny how practically every religion basically says don't be a dick. But ultra-religious people are like, lol, no. That is the message. I thought the message was to be kind. To be kind to one another. Why is that apparently impossible for certain people? When you spent a zillion dollars and killed thousands of people just to get embarrassed by one Ecuadorian lad? Just be honest. You hate them because they're Muslim. It bothers you that a Muslim country is hosting the World Cup because in your mind, we aren't supposed to have nice things. Mmm, that's super wrong. Yeah, it's really wrong, but okay. My son got another wonderful religious tattoo, a powerful reminder of the cross. God, that is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Props to the tattoo artist for making a lot of money off of an awful, awful idea. <laughs> I mean, jeez, the amount of pain. Do you have evidence for the existence of a god? Yes. Care to present it? The Bible? Right, because God wrote it. Duh, I'm so dumb. The Bible predicted Christians would follow a false prophet and that they'd wear his mark on their foreheads. <laughs> well, the most extreme of these folks sure do treat him like he is the second coming, and that is just one of the scariest goddamn things I've ever seen. From a Christian Instagram page. I cannot be proud of the things that can break God's heart. He made us this way. So, like, wh wh why would it break his heart? Is it, oh, is his heart breaking because he was dumb enough to do something that he doesn't like? I don't understand. There is a cure for cancer. His name is Jesus. There is a cure for AIDS. His name is Jesus. There is a cure for lupus. His name is Jesus. There is a cure for diabetes. His name is Jesus. Well, when is he going to publish his research? They call him a cure. How many times is simply praying for someone's cancer to go away actually worked? I don't mean having the doctors work for months to years helping that patient out. I mean, oops, I got cancer. We're just going to pray this one away. How many times has that worked? And I know it's happened at least once because that's how odds work. But really, really, I want to know. Read through the entire Bible with your children, and when you finish, start over again. No, no thanks. Hey atheists, if evolution is real, what was the evolutionary benefit of homosexuality? What? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, dude. In reply to the current trend of book censorship, Margaret Atwood releases a fireproof edition of A Handmaid's Tale. Isn't there also a fireproof edition of Fahrenheit 451 or something like that? I mean, that is sick though. That is sick, Margaret. Hell yeah. I don't live in Iran. Neither would I wish to live. Wait, what? A country with such strict, inhumane Islamic laws. Recently, an Iranian boxer, I'm not going to butcher his name, took a photo with his family in which his wife is not wearing a hijab. Translation, kind of face cover for a woman. Do you know what happened? They were both sentenced to 16 years in prison for debauchery and prostitution, including 74 lashes. <laughs> it's really shocking that people are following 1,000-year-old laws in the 21st century. No women's right activists will outrage on this. None? Are you sure? I feel like a lot of activists have been outraged about this sort of crap. 16 years in prison, and they whip you for posting a photo of your family. Damn, that is among the most disgusting things I've heard in a long time. At the Ukraine-Poland border, tired women and children leaving their country. They're being pestered by American preachers, telling them they all need to accept Jesus as their savior, and their lives will be better, receiving a lot of eye rolls in response. What? Why are American preachers- No, never mind, no, the, the question was immediately answered in my head. My religion says I'm not allowed to do X. That's okay, but since I'm not a member of your religion, that rule doesn't apply to me. Heh, <laughs> it's gonna. I'm going to force you. It's called the Church of Satan, where they perform ritual human sacrifice and eat human flesh. Please don't confuse us with the Catholics. Who said a hijabi couldn't graduate? Quran? Oh, <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> I was going to donate $7,600 to her fund, but I found out her parents are lesbian. So, I've chosen to donate to St. Jude due to that fact. Sorry, I'll still pray for her though, but maybe it's God's way of getting your attention that she needs a mommy and a daddy, not two mommies. That is the most disgustingly hate-filled piece of thing to say. I was gonna donate almost $10,000 to help save this child, this innocent child dying of stage 4 cancer. But instead of that, because you have two mommies, I kinda hope you die, because it'll teach your gay moms a lesson. And that lesson's not to be gay. So many people want to try and tell me about pronouns today, and try to convince me that the Lord himself introduced himself to Moses using pronouns. <laughs> I can't believe how far some of y'all have gone down the rabbit hole with these pronouns. God bless your hearts. Tell us what a pronoun is. Ask Satan. She's got absolutely no idea just how many times she used one. Shared unironically by some girl I went to high school with. 
Wow. This young man was praying before his meal when a group of liberal atheists mocked him, chanting, Prove your God is real! It was then his salt shaker fell, and the image of Christ the Savior appeared. The group of non-believers fell to their knees and prayed for forgiveness. We serve an awesome God. Amen. I cannot believe there are people that would actually fall for this. Now, I refuse to believe there are people that dumb and gullible. I have to, because if I didn't, I would lose my mind. One of the biggest power moves I have here in the Midwest is when someone's being racist, sexist, homophobic, is that I tell them I'll pray for them so that God can grace them with empathy, or that I feel sorry that the devil has made his home in your heart. Because you have not felt joy until you flip the script on a suburban house mom or an old racist white man. The joy of watching their face in shock and confusion while they're called out in Christian standards, the same way they try to cover for their homophobia is amazing. 100% suggested, at the very least it gets them to shut up. Good Christian hacks, an open-ended series. Works wonders in the South, too, and if they start to stutter and quote some cherry-picked Bible verse at you, come back at them with, yes, even the devil can quote scripture, but that doesn't mean he understands it. I'll pray to God to grant you understanding in the fullness of his word. Remember when you weren't allowed to read the Bible? Only officials of the church could do that? It wasn't like in the last hundred or so years, it was a long time ago, but you weren't allowed to. They would, like, punish you for that, wouldn't they, if you tried to read and understand the Bible yourself? I was told I should post this here. Here's me dying for our sins in the late 90s. Okay. Don't be absurd. Nobody made us. We evolved by chance from snowflakes. What's something that's not a cult but feels like one? Islam. Christianity. Seriously, there's a lot of people that do some pretty messed up crap because of their religion. Um, freaking Christianity? I don't know how to explain that to you. If God had designated that his intelligent creatures should travel at the frightful speed of 15 miles per hour, he would have foretold it through his holy prophets. It is a device of Satan to lead immortal souls to hell. Local Board of Education on Railroads. Why does God allow suffering? The problem with this question is that it assumes that we don't deserve to suffer. It assumes God owes us some good, but we all deserve to suffer for eternity. How merciful of God to allow us anything good to happen to us at all. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's the mindset. There's why so many of the bad ones want nothing but hurt for other people. Because at a fundamental level, there are some out there that feel that all of us deserve to be horribly, horribly treated forever. An Israeli journalist in Qatar. They kicked me out of the restaurant. The owner of the restaurant took my phone, deleted all the pictures of Qatar. The taxi refused to let us ride. The Arabs and many foreigners get angry and turn away from us when they know we are Israelis. If God made you a male, that's not a mistake. If God made you a female, that's not a mistake. Saying any different is insulting a perfect creator. Read your word. God made you a brunette, yet you are now a blonde. God gave you bad vision, yet you fixed it with glasses. God gave you crooked teeth, yet you straightened them. Lauren Boo Boo wants a Bible literacy test to be a citizen of the U.S. What? Oh, I see what you're saying. So what happens when all the atheists pass and the Christians fail? I, I'm, as a Coloradan, I'm still so despicably disgusted that she won again. Good morning. It's now illegal to offer someone water in a boating line in Georgia. <laughs> if only we knew what Jesus Christ would say about offering people water when they're thirsty. Yo, Jesus was the G. God's the ass. Women are getting killed in Iran for not wearing a hijab, but see how the top Revolutionary Guards general and current transport minister, not gonna butcher his name, enjoys freedom with his unfailed girlfriend in Malaysia. The hypocrite regime is killing teenagers. Woo! It's all so fun. I love it here. I don't think they thought this one through. Jesus, the name above all names, except for Trump, I guess. You come to our country and you know what makes us angry and you do it? What? American tourist smashes two ancient busts in Vatican Museum after his request with Pope was reportedly denied. Was he arrested? Like, are you serious? What kind of fit is that? Ugh, oh, man, I need to go get some caffeine in me, dude. 